So first, identify desired outcomes. When we're talking about training desired outcomes, we are trying to think, what are we trying to get them to do? What is the goal of supervision? So during the supervision, we want to make sure that we are um, teaching and practicing and our trainee is able to demonstrate all of the items on the fifth edition task list. Um, that's our goal. That is our checklist that the BACB has given us. So during supervision, those are the things that we want to work on. Some of those are discussion, explain it. Some of those are demonstrate it. Um, there might be some other um, outcomes that, uh, that you might think of there, um, but a lot of it just boils down to, you know, what are the requirements to take the test and, right, had to complete the field supervision. Um, after the supervision, the desired outcomes are that they pass the national exam, and hopefully a desired outcome is that your trainee practices behavior analysis ethically in their field after they are certified. So it's not just a matter of checking a box, getting a certificate, and then going and doing whatever you want. Instead, we want to make sure that they continue to practice using best practices, evidence-based, and are performing ethically out in the field after they pass the exam. So um, these are some of the desired outcomes. Uh, you might have some additional ones that are specific to your setting. So maybe you are trying to grow your team within your organization. Um, maybe you are trying to expand the capabilities to take on new populations based upon having more certified, uh, trained, prepared individuals. Um, but these might be some of the basic ones that are uh, generalizable across